the world is made for people with arms. It's just as simple as that. Uh, I am just one of those people who just try it anyway. I, I, I just try it. I just do it. Even if people say, this is not going to work. And I had to train myself to think differently, that there is mo more than one way to do things. And um, that, was, that was probably the biggest challenge for me, um, not to get stuck in some sort of idea that, okay, I, I want to do this, so how do, go, how do I go about it to get there? Sabine Becker, the creator of the Alaskan Spirit Dancer, lives and works in her home in Wasilla, Alaska. Although Sabine was born with a severe disability, from a very early age, she learned to take care of herself. Today, we'll follow her through a typical, if not very busy, day at home and out in her community. Getting ready for the day, includes applying makeup, eyeshadow, <laughs> mascara, and eyeliner. An important part of Sabine's formula for success is always looking her best. It takes a steady foot and incredible flexibility to accomplish what most women take for granted. Sabine uses her feet to do just about everything including brushing her hair and putting on jewelry. Her daily domestic chores include washing the dishes, wiping down the counters. Something my mother told me when I was very small, she always said, Sabine, you have to have a good education and you have to work one day. Uh, you cannot um, depend on anybody. Uh, to provide that for you and so as a very small kid already I had the idea that I really got to have a good education which I got and um, um, I have to work so that was a big driving force my mother <laughs> which I went right <laughs> After a hot cup of coffee, Sabine is ready. Her little Saturn car does pretty well for her. Mechanical adaptations allow Sabine to operate the vehicle entirely with her feet. Shifting, accelerating, braking and steering, her left foot slips into a shoe mounted on a steering wheel on the floor, tied directly into the steering linkage, providing easy control of the vehicle. Back at the studio, daily personal and business correspondence include answering emails, making phone calls, and typing letters. Sabine uses her personal computer set up on the floor of her office. A rainbow of spirit dancers encircle her work area. To me, the most important thing is uh, to make a difference uh, in my life. I have come uh, into this world with a severe disability, which I at first thought was really bad news. I really thought, this is terrible, this is not just, this is not right. Uh, why me? Poor me? But I've turned it around into a good thing, maybe actually to, to, to help maybe somebody else um, who became disabled later on in life or maybe for disabled children. Um, so to make a difference, it doesn't really matter how to do it to me, you know. If it's through my artwork and show people that a foot artist is as a good artist as any other artist, or through this video, 
or um, through my motivational spe speeches. In creating her original dolls, the Alaskan spirit dancer, Sabine has found new ways to perform tasks without the use of her hands. She threads needles, beads the tiny necklaces, creates feather headdresses and clothes, and sews the dolls together, all in her studio in the basement of her home. Her sewing machine is not immune to tangles. She knows her tools and operates them as well as anyone, re-threading the machine using only her feet and a pencil eraser. <laughs> Her dolls have earned her a living for years, supporting her and her teenage son. Sabine has oh, taken on part-time employees to accelerate the doll making process and increase her studio's productivity. Yeah, I don't know. I learned sewing when I was 12 years old at the high school I went to, and they didn't give me any breaks. So I was at the school, and so I had just had to do whatever everybody else does. As her business grows, she's branching out, using her education in psychology and her success as an artist to spread understanding and wisdom. Sabine was recently featured on Alaska Magazine Television, an award-winning national public television show. In 2001, she received the Alaskan of the Year Award, presented to her by the Governor's Committee on Employment and Rehabilitation. She is an exceptional Alaskan, leaving her mark on humanity through her unique artwork and her unabashed honesty. It's obvious where the beautiful little dolls get their spirit.